Cage. Welcome to K1 Jap World Grand Prix 2021 Japan. This is the K1 Bantamweight Japan Tournament at the Yokohama Budokan. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. So we're back to the K1 Bantamweight Tournament. Uh, and this is the first semi-final match uh, between Naoki Omura and uh, Kazuki Miburo. Remember, he's the mm. current champ, Miburo, of Crush. Yes. And this is... <gasps> Now he's second pro fight. Yes, he just won the first one, and uh, this is second. Yeah, it's um, it's been an interesting day for him so far, Omura, Omura, and we'll see already kind of fast game here. Well, Miburo's got everything to lose here in this fight, so he's probably a bit more nervous than he normally would be. All right, it's an up and coming star. Interesting. It's completely different than the first fight they had. Yeah, and, and um, you know, they've already had some su success earlier on the day, and, we're, and just the se second part up that tournament ladder for both of them. Again, very similar in height and age for these two, but slightly more experience on part of Miburo, who's had 11 wins. Hmm. Still playing around. Yeah. That's, I like that's, it. That's how <laughs> over the style we've been seeing yeah, previously. Oh, oh. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, 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 man. Again, it's phantom weight. We've seen a lot of speed and all the long oh, nice. matches. I love Omar's defense, the way he does that. Mm. He just takes it and then he can like do the over he wants after that. Because he's not getting hurt when he does it. Yeah. See? He knows how and he stayed it. in that distance yeah. so he could hit him with the right hand there. And he plays around a little bit, makes himself relax again so he doesn't get mm. caught up in it too tight. Right, right. It, that's why he's doing that. Like that. Yeah. Moves. Guard attack, guard attack, yeah. Good shots, nice. No visible damage so far, about 20 seconds left in this round one. Very, very fast game. And that's uh, hmm. round one for this side. Uh, Semi final one. Pattern. Yep. Yeah. What do you He's think? That, 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 it's almost like 50 50 to them, almost. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, Miburo's fighting style is just like straight to business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whereas where Omura kind of does the feint. Yeah. It kind of plays around. Yeah. Definitely have a, has a playful heart. Mm. But you're saying it kind of helps. Maybe he's doing it to relax himself, but he's also, that's what he does, right? He, yeah, it's, it's, it's a rhythm and a style and a pattern that he's found that mm. works for him. Mm. Ooh, he took a big shot there. There we are. Yeah. But he keeps that guard up, unless when he has to attack. It's kind of deceptive, though, because Miburo's only 19 years old, too. Yeah, yeah. No, no, wait. Is he? And Miburo's 19, yeah. He's 19, right? right? Yeah. It seems like it's just his style of fighting seems older or something. Yeah. Start round two of this semi-final in the K1 Bantamweight. Like this there, and, and it almost feels like the third round of the way they whoa, taking each other. Mm. 
See, nice low kick, finish the combination with a really, really like that. And then he just switches back and forth between South Park. Super comfortable with this. See? That's his signature play, playfulness that he mm. goes through. The rhythm. The rhythm. Yes. Man, wow. Ooh, you, got, you, got you gotta watch out where there's where your punches wrong. Good guard, yes, finish that low kick. Really beautiful. Oh, he took a shot there. Miguru is just physically strong, mm, 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 mm. like really strong. Mm. Miguru is not weaker at all. It was just there's yeah. something about the strength of Miguru that is just intimidating almost. I mean, I guess it, you know Miguru has to get used to that sort of tricky style that Omura has, but once. You know, like you said, he, he, he's not. He doesn't really influence about. No. Yeah. Oh, oh. And, and now he's giving and every him. time he stops, he unloads on him. Oh, he's bleeding. Yeah. Um, Maybe fatigue kicking in. Mm. Trying some low kicks there from me, but oh. a few seconds more. That's right. That was interesting. I can take that, yeah. Wow. Mm. <laughs> that was actually a great finish for now, Kilmura. That's round uh, two in this uh, semi final of the uh, K1 Bantam Weight Japan tournament. So, if we're talking about who's leading the fight yep. at this point, I think Miburo is a point ahead. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Omuro with this tricky uh, style versus uh, Miburo with this. Uh, he just had more clean Physics. hits. Yeah, sure. I mean, he did take damage because he was bleeding from his nose, but mm -hmm. I mean, that's it wasn't anything where I thought, well, he's in trouble. Right. And as you say, you know, um, Nicholas had the 11 wins, so he's, um, although he's only one year older than uh, Omura, he's got, seems to have that experience a little more than what uh, Omura has. Well, this is it, round three. Really <laughs> <laughs> you go round three of semi final. You think he used to do uh, MMA or something? Did you got that cauliflower ear? He does have those ears, yeah. Put it on wrestling. That's probably why he's so physically strong. Ah. Great kicking technique. That might make sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. Japanese martial art, I guess, so maybe that's where all these yeah. moves come from. It's a little bit similar to a mm. 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 Yeah, it's definitely kickboxing and 
Good break up there, but uh, third round, half a round left. Round three. <laughs> the seconds are going really <laughs> excited. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at those shots. Sometimes you, the, the trainers are more excited. Uh, I don't know. I don't see it. That mm. He's hurt in the stomach. I'll tell you that. And they're telling him to go for the stomach, but it doesn't look like he's hurt. Look, body shots are great. Yeah. I mean, they're great for mixing it up. You can sneak in a body shot and then a, a hook or something like that. Or body shot, uppercut. Like, you know, quick combination. Sure, sure. Yeah. Now they have got a bit over 30 seconds to prove themselves in round three. Oh, the match. Yeah, here we go. Yes, good kick. Mm. That second one, round kick. Yes. Yeah, but that went for the stomach. That's yeah. good. Oh, there you go. Oh, more punches. Two blows to the knee over there. Can't take it there. His second pro fight. Look at him go. Unreal. <laughs> and the bell rings. Round three. Of the K1 Benton Way Japan tournament. This was the first uh, semi final match. Look, there's not much he could have done differently in this fight. I think he did, I think he did great. I also think that he was going to win. Yep. We'll, we'll see what the judges think. Oh, nice. 30 30 draw. 32. Oh, 30 draw. draw. Oh, cool. So this means we've got a, another extra round after three. Uh, yeah, an extension yeah. on the fight. That's great. He totally deserved to get an extension there. I don't know. I kind of felt like Ibuda was leading a bit. Yeah. I was thinking 30, 29, maybe. Yeah. But enough for the judges to, to decide that this was a draw. Oh man, yeah. the finish of that fight? <laughs> <laughs> he gave everything yeah. in. Okay, now, so this is the extension round. Um, Nick, so, you know, again, they've got to just sort of almost forget the first three rounds, but sort of prove that within the three minutes what they can do. This is tough. Here we go, the extra round in the semi final. Jimmy Little takes the action to Omura. Ooh, nice kick. And a punch to follow. Rolls and one, two, kicks. Straight to business, no mm. more playing around. <laughs> There's no time for that. Nope. Yeah. Just over two minutes left for them to make the best of it. He still moves really well though. I like what he does, how he can mix it up. Yeah, well, Omura, Omura doesn't quite have the first, uh, the cheekiness and the movement he had in round one, but that's understandable, I guess. But is Nibu taking more of the lead now, do you think? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, they're both doing really well. I think mm. it's going to come down to preference of the judges unless something happens here in the last minute. Yeah. Sure. I mean, look at those combinations. Yeah. yeah. So strong. Please. Please. 
it's really deceptive because Miguel doesn't look like a guy who could do like a spinning backwards. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surprises. Yeah, but he keeps rolling up. Mm. Oh, yeah. One minute to go. Yes. This is it for this round. And the knee there. Oh, that's good. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, a great left hook. Mm. Interesting. We only got 10 seconds. Yeah. A little tired there on one of those parts, so this is it. This is it. Woo! Come here, guys. Man, a lot can happen in 10 seconds. Yes. That's it for the extra round in the semi final. That's a tough call. Yeah. But the judges have to make a decision on this extra round of the K1 Band Weights Japan tournament. What say you, Nick San? Well, I kind of had my hands on my, my hopes on Yubido somehow. Yep. Um, I think he'll get it. It's, it's, yeah. But I mean, it's Ten so nine. subtle. Goes to Miguro. Yeah. Ten to nine. To Miguro. Yeah, but I mean, it's like looking at the, at the last 20, 30, 20 or 30 seconds yep. of the last round, maybe. Where it looked like he was doing more, sure. and um, you know, Naoki was just trying to like clinch him and hold him and tie him up. And I kind of feel like the last thirty seconds was where he lost the fight. Right. Yeah. There they are, congratulating the winner, two of them, and there's some of the replay back from that uh, the semi-final, which means uh, Kazuki Miguro won, and he will be going up into the finals. And we'll see that. Thank you very much for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 321, the K1 Bantamweight uh, Japan Tournament. The winner was Kazuki Miburo. I'm Russell Guru. And Nicholas Pettis.